in java whenever we create a string using double quotes like java it gets stored in a special memory area called the string constant pool this pool is part of the heap memory and it's designed to save space by avoiding duplicate strings so if you create the same string literal again like another java java will not create a new object instead it will simply reuse the existing one from the pool let's understand the string constant pool step by step with diagrams here we have a single line of code string str1 equals double quotes java followed by a semicolon java stores this java string inside the constant pool that's the red box you see inside the larger heap memory block the variable str1 points directly to that string inside the pool so far we have one variable one string object and everything looks clean now let's move to the second step we add one more line string str2 equals double quotes java followed by a semicolon now the jvm first checks that the literal java in the string constant pool if the literal is already present in the pool its reference is stored in the variable since java already exists in the pool java doesn't create a new object instead str2 points to the same string as str1 so now both str1 and str2 are pointing to the same object in memory that's why when we compare them using double equals we'll get true because they both refer to the same location here's where things get interesting now we write string str3 equals new string and pass java inside it this time even though the content is the same java creates a completely new object in the heap outside of the string pool that means s tr3 and str1 are two different objects in memory all right